Hey foodies and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. Today I have another delicious recipe for you guys. Okay, today we're going to be making fully loaded twice baked potatoes. I'm going to be adding some ground beef, some bacon, some peppers, and a whole lot of other stuff. These potatoes are going to be so filling that you guys don't even need to eat this with anything else. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to make this delicious recipe. So here's everything that you're gonna need for this recipe. I'm gonna be using one jalapeno, five tablespoons of sour cream, some chopped up bacon, some garlic paste, a bell pepper, a small onion, ground beef, and here are the seasonings that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using one sassone packet, two teaspoons of onion powder, a half a tablespoon of Larry seasoning and salt, a half a tablespoon of chili powder. All right, so let's move on to our potatoes. You just wanna go ahead and poke some holes into those. That way some of that steam can release out when it's cooking. After we are done doing that, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil over that. Then I'm gonna sprinkle a generous amount of salt onto these potatoes. Now you just wanna go in with your hands and give those potatoes a good massage. Make sure you rub all of that oil and salt into those potatoes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these in foil. Make sure they are completely covered and make sure you fold these in tight. Make sure there's no holes in there. If it is, double wrap it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this in the oven on 420 for about an hour and 10 minutes. So while that's cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up one medium sized onion. And you wanna make sure you dice your onions up finely. We don't want big chunks of onion in our fully loaded potatoes. Okay, so after we're done dicing that up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with a bell pepper. I'm also gonna add in one jalapeno pepper. I am not gonna remove the seed. However, if you don't like spiciness, go ahead and remove those seeds. You chop these jalapenos up pretty small. You wanna chop them finely. All right, so now we are going to add a little bit of bacon fat to our pan and we're gonna add in those onions, the peppers, and the jalapenos. And we're gonna cook these until they become translucent. Once they become a little bit translucent, I'm gonna add in some garlic paste. I'm gonna let that bloom. And we're gonna stir all of that together. Once they start to sweat out a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that ground beef. And I'm just gonna break that together with my spatula. And I'm just gonna cook this until this ground beef has browned. Once it's about halfway browned, I'm gonna add in my seasoning. And we're gonna stir that all together. Make sure we mix that in well. Keep stirring that meat until it's completely brown. You wanna make sure you see no pink in there. All right, so once it starts to look like this, that's how we know it's done. We're gonna go ahead and set that aside. And our potatoes had came out the oven, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. It's not in half. I'm only cutting a little bit off of that top. Make sure you take out the filling. We're gonna save that for later. And then make sure you discard that skin in for the bottom half. You just wanna go ahead and cut it out, but leave a little bit of potato in there for a barrier. It's almost like you're making a little boat. Be careful when you're doing this, that way it does not tear. All right, so let's move on to the filling. So I'm gonna take a potato masher, mash that up. Don't mash it up too much, we are not trying to make mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add in a stick of butter, mix that all together. And then I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of garlic paste and about four to five tablespoons of sour cream and some fresh parsley, and then I'm gonna add some salt. You can add complete seasoning if you would like, and just season this to taste. I'm also gonna add in some black pepper. Once you're done adding in all your seasoning, go ahead and mix that all together, making sure it is like a chunky, thick, light consistency. All right, so now it's time to stuff these. I'm gonna add in that potato filling. Make sure you add a generous amount. The more, the better. Okay, so now we're gonna add in that ground beef. Just add that on top, and let me tell you, that is gonna give these a great taste. I'm telling you, especially because these are seasoned to the tea. And we cooked it in that bacon fat. You already know it's gonna be delicious. All right, so now I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese on top. You can use cheddar cheese if you would like. And I'm gonna top it off with some bacon, and we're gonna pop this in the oven on 350 for about 15 minutes. You just want that cheese to melt. 
All right, guys, so this is what it is looking like after we have taken it out the oven. And I must say, it looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try these. So let's go ahead and plate this, make this look all pretty, and then I will show you guys the ending result. Just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of parsley on top for presentation. Now let me just go ahead and try this. As you can see, it's nice and creamy, but still manages to be a little bit chunky. It's got those bacon bits. It's got the ground beef in it. The jalapeno gives it a nice kick. If you guys want to try this recipe, be sure to check the description box below. The full recipe is posted there. If you like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel. I post new recipes every other day. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.